Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the All Powers R3500. Uh, this is a solar generator, battery backup solution for all of your electronics and you know what, even for your home. It's gonna work either in a tailgating situation, camping situation, or if you have a power outage and wanna keep your home powered. Uh, this thing is packed with power. So in today's video, we're gonna go over the product, we're gonna see it working in action. We're also gonna take a look at the solar power uh, how you can recharge it using uh, solar panels, right? And charge this unit up super fast with one of their panels. So let's first start talking about the specs. Uh, the R3500 has a capacity of over 3,500 watt hours. Um, it's modular, right? And it means that you can stack it together to be able to increase the output or the battery capacity by uh, just adding these units one on top of the other. Uh, literally, you can go from 3,168 all the way up to 101, check this out, 101,378 uh, uh, watt hours. That is a lot of power, uh, but it's gonna take a lot of these batteries just connected all together. It also has dual charging capabilities, um, and it has a total of 4,000 watt input, which is gonna accelerate the charging of this unit. But now if you don't have an electrical power source, don't worry, because uh, we were able to charge ours also with a solar panel. Now you're not gonna get that 4,000 watt input, but hey, 2,000 watts is not bad solar charging capacity. And we did our testing with a 400 watt panel, and I'm telling you, even in Chicago, it was still cold, um, not quite you know, during the temperature that we have right now, and we were getting over 350 watts um, coming from a 400 watt panel. So very happy with the overall performance. Not only can you charge this via the sun, but you can also use this to charge your e-vehicle. So if you have a Tesla or you have an, uh, another um, e-vehicle that uh, can charge via electricity, you can use this uh, battery backup to charge it as well. It does have two USB-C that's gonna provide 100 watt power, also two USB-A, three AC outlets, right? An LED light. It also then has a 30 watt connector or, or 30 amp connector actually that is gonna be like for RV and more powerful type situations. But you're gonna see this all in the actual review. So make sure you check out the video. Now it also has Life PO4 batteries, which are super safe to use. It has a pure sine wave inverter and it can charge up to 3000 times. So that's gonna give you really long lifespan. If you wanna use this as an UPS, meaning that you have your computers and other equipment connected to it, it has a 15 second millisecond response time. Again, 15 millisecond response time, a little bit under that. So I've tested it on plugging things and I haven't really noticed anything because it's super fast. Uh, so let's take a closer look at the unit. We'll take a look at all the features. We'll see how it works. You're gonna see some testing that I do with some gadgets um, and it's an incredible unit. It also has an app that allows you to monitor all the activities and turn on certain functions and see how much battery you have left. So this is a super cool unit. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the generator has, first of all, really nice and easy to read display. Um, you'll notice that as you turn on each one of these areas, either the uh, DC output and you see standard cigarette lighter with all of the DC options that you would expect here, that's gonna give you a lot of flexibility. You also then have here your AC outlets and then each AC outlet, as you can see, is, has a maximum of 20 amps coming out. But the one thing I will highlight is that I find, and I don't know if this is just because this is an early unit, is that the plugs are upside down, right? So in the US, these should be facing down. And as you can see here, I have this little device in the corner that's actually upside down because I can't plug it right side up. Now, you have four of those, and then you have a 30 amp, which is gonna be great for an RV. Uh, keep in mind that this is Bluetooth. It is also Wi-Fi based, so it, it's, uh, it has a lot of connectivity. And then on this side here, you do have PD fast charging, uh, 100 watts. And then you have Qualcomm fast charging, and you'll notice that you have four USB ports down here. We're gonna go ahead and, and move this a little bit to the side. Let's unplug this for now so you can see that. So you can see you have your four USB-A. Now one of the cool things about the charging rates here is this, watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my phone. You see how it's uh, lit up there? And that's fast charging uh, the phone. Not only is it Qualcomm fast charging, but it's also then using the uh, fast charging 2.0, which is pretty impressive, right? That's super fast charging. Really like that feature and the fact that it supports that. You do have, again, you can have all of these running at the same time, which is also really powerful. Now, one of the most difficult things is to determine what type of generator do you need based on your power consumption. So I highly recommend that you get one of these little devices here because what this does is it's gonna tell you how much power 
your device is full. And you'd be surprised to find how much a toaster, how much a coffee maker, how much a blender uses when you're sizing the generator that you need. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our toaster and what we're gonna do is see here that it's indicating, and it's upside down, a little bit over 771 watts. If you power this up, it says 753. So they're close to each other, right? What you see going on there. So basically what you can do is right now in your home, if you take this little device and plug it into your refrigerator, your TV, you can basically see how much power you need uh, when you're sizing a generator. Now what we're gonna also then do is I'm gonna turn on this heat gun and we're gonna watch what it does to the power. So we wanna see at what point does it trip the actual generator. So now this is powered up and now we see that we have a little bit close to 2000 watts, right? We have 1980, we'll make sure that that's in focus for everybody. And uh, that's pretty good, right? So I have a toaster and then I actually have a heat gun going and this heat gun is pretty powerful as you can see. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna turn on a blender and we have one of these powerful blenders here and I'm gonna put the heat gun to the side, making sure we don't burn anything and here we have this blender, right? It's gonna get loud, and we're gonna basically uh, try to see how well this will do with this blender uh, running. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and power up the blender. 1,900 watts is what we have going on right now. We're gonna turn on the blender. Two thousand two hundred watts. All three devices going at the same time. That was loud, but that was impressive because it never tripped the actual generator. Now to restore the power to your generator or to recharge, you have several options here. And uh, the two that I would use the most in my case is gonna be either solar here for the panel, um, electric, which would be the house, but you also have some other options that you can work with. Now one other thing I wanted to highlight that I don't really see in many generators is a reset breaker switch, which is really nice. Uh, this gives you the ability in any event that this does get for whatever reason tripped up, the ability to reset. Now one of the cool things about the app is that you can control and see all aspects in your generator. So for example, if I wanna turn off DC power, all I do is push that button, it's off. That's how, look how fast that reacted. Wanna turn off the actual USB-C, off, right? If I wanna turn off the AC, just press the button and it's off. If we use the toaster like we did, power that up. We see that there's a draw in power. We're gonna see that draw show up 761 watts and we'll see the app also update itself. So it says 758, we see that on the app. The app is also gonna maintain or give you a readout of how much power or how many days of power you still have. So we can see here clearly two hours, 45 minutes um, of power. And what will happen is because the actual toaster is drawing, it's going to basically give you how much power remains based on that draw, right? That's a constant draw that's happening. If I turn on, again, my heat gun, you notice that it goes up to 1,994, but that is continual draw. So right now it's telling me it's gonna be one hour and uh, three minutes. If I were to cancel my toaster, or my toasting is, is complete, the power draw is gonna drop, and then what's gonna happen is the toaster, or the actual, in this case, the generator, is gonna recalculate how much power I have left. So right now it's saying one hour and 42 minutes, given the fact that my heat gun is pulling some substantial power, like 1238. If I turn off the heat gun, you'll notice that now it says that it has one day and 14 hours, right? So it's recalculating um, immediately as soon as it sees the change in power consumption, and that's pretty normal. Now the all power solar panel is super compact, easy to stow and also take with you. So we basically have it here. It's cold still in Chicago, but the sun is out. You can see how great of a sunny day we have. We're gonna open up this solar panel so you can see how it works. And then we're gonna connect it to our generator to see how much power uh, the sun is gonna generate to top off this battery. This battery is right now around 30% and the sun is out, this panel is a 400 watt panel. So let's see what it takes to set this up. Now in the back of the panel, you're gonna find a storage compartment that's gonna be for some cabling that's built in. And then you'll notice that it has kind of a, a foot that will come out that's gonna allow it to be in the right angle so that you can get the optimal power from the sun. Now we have the panels out and one of the things that I just wanna highlight as a power tip is make sure that there aren't any shadows casted on your solar panels, even in a corner. Any kind of casted shadow is gonna degrade your 
power output. Right now, with our weather here in Chicago today, uh, which is a little nippy, but the sun is out, we're seeing around 350 watts of power, and this panel has the capacity of 400 watts. Now, you gotta watch the sun, because depending on the position of the sun, again, your power is going to degrade, but you can see how that uh, is laid out. Uh, the cabling uh, comes on the back over here, and then basically connects to the generator that's on the side. Let me go ahead and pan a little bit over to the side. You can see it right there. And the beauty of this is that, again, you're renewing, you are topping up this battery using the sun. So you don't have to plug this in. So this is gonna be a great solution for those of you who may be in a situation where you lose power for days. And let's face it, during the day, you may not need any power um, outside of maybe some of your electronics that you may wanna charge, but let's say you're using this uh, as, a, uh, as a solution for nighttime use or sometime during the day, you're gonna be able to plug this in and have it topped off. The other cool thing about this is that because you can have multiple panels at three to 400 watts, uh, if you are basically plugged into the generator and you're consuming less than that, you're still gonna be able to get a charge. So uh, this is gonna be a perfect solution for again, those situations when you're losing power and you may be out of power for multiple days. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.